So I think there are some just like very deep existential questions that um, studying planets around other stars uh, interface with. So, you know, where do we come from? Is the Earth special in any way? I was actually a physics and Japanese studies major in college. When I got to graduate school, the only thing that I knew for sure is that I wanted to be an observational astronomer. So I ended up at the University of Arizona because uh, they build all the world's biggest optical telescopes. And I just found myself going back in my mind to all these talks about exoplanets. So exoplanet is a planet around another star. I run uh, two research groups, and in my exoplanet research group, we use uh, big telescopes to detwinkle stars, which allows us to take pictures of the sort of faint environments around the very bright star and isolate light from um, either planets that are in the process of forming around those stars or the sort of precursors to that, these disks of gas and dust that live around young stars that uh, planets are built out of. The students are involved in the process of doing science all the way from um, writing, helping me to write telescope proposals and come up with ideas. If I have a crazy idea, I might get a student to do some calculations or simulation, all the way to going to visit uh, big telescopes in Hawaii and in Chile. You know, I think one of the things that we really have in astronomy is the ability to bring students who maybe haven't had super positive STEM experiences in high school back into the, the fold. Astronomy is a, it's a gateway science. You know, most kids at some point in their life uh, are fascinated by space. 